and welcome back to the channel on this video I want to talk about e-bike speed and it's a hot topic for some reason uh, it just gets people up in arms kind of thing about how fast you can ride your bike or how fast you are riding your bike I've had I've had people say that I'm riding too fast and I've also had people say that I should be riding uh, fast to keep up with traffic well legally in Oregon here the legal limit is 20 miles per hour class 2 and depending on what state you are a lot of states are class 2 some are class 3 so uh, I'm kind of wondering exactly why that is why is the speed limited to 20 miles per hour for example in the state of Oregon and I don't know the, re the exact reason for it I've never really heard the real reason um, so that's the question I'm going to bring up today and as we look here at that speed limit right there 25 miles per hour right here kind of a slower residential area here but uh and I'm gonna say one of the reasons I think for riding 20 miles per hour is probably look at the little area down here I'm in a bike lane right now look at how small that area is um, we're pretty limited and we get all the for lack of a better word crap in our bike lanes and then you get this right there I gotta try to go around them the cars coming but you get that uh, people parked in the in the bike lanes like bike lanes are like like who cares let's stick everything there including bike riders and in some cases you can't ride faster than 20 even if you wanted to because of situations like that with things in the way I mean there's trash cans there there's debris there's uh, storm drains lots of things are in the bike lane so another possibility is you're not paying any insurance or license fees or any kind of registration no fees and so basically and there's no tax on your like a gas tax in this case electricity tax to go to roads so basically what they're saying is probably you're not paying this is another possibility you're not paying anything to maintain the roads Okay, if we were going to have to pay money to ride our e-bikes faster uh, legally, and it don't, this doesn't necessarily mean we have to ride fast, it's up to the rider, but a little bit faster. I don't think we need to go 50 or 60 miles an hour. I really don't. I think, but I do think uh, that if you want to ride 30 to 35, you should be able to. And if we have to pay a little bit, you know what? I'm willing to pay a little bit. But at the same um, time, I want to have the conditions where we're riding much better. I mean, if we're going to pay to ride our bike just like a car pays to be on the road, then I want better conditions. I don't want to ride in a little tiny bike lane. I want to ride out there if I and comfortable doing it I want to ride right out with the cars if it's if, if it's a speed that I can maintain like in a city like we're coming around here to another road here and speed limit here is 25 miles per hour well this bike Lyric Graffiti can certainly keep up with 25 miles per hour instead of putting me over here where everything goes 
I want to be over there where it's a lot clearer and a lot safer, I think, to ride. Look at I have to get around all these sticks and whatever's in there um, and hope I don't get a flat tire. So I know it really bothers a lot of people that uh, bikes are going what they say is too fast. But I almost think it's it's less safe being in those bike lanes. I, I mean, they got to give us something better than that. Um, that. This is just one man's opinion. But uh, when I say paying too, I don't, I'd have to see how much they would charge, but I wouldn't want to pay a boatload of money, but a little, you know, a little bit to contribute or for those of us anyway that want to ride on the road. So. But if you want to weigh in with your opinion on that, uh, go ahead and leave a comment in the comments below. Like, I, I really don't know the reason why it's uh, limited. I mean, another reason could be that the bike is not safe enough. Like, the bike is not... If the bike's not built for the speed that it can go, then it shouldn't be going that speed. That's the way I look at it. If the manufacturer of the bike built the bike strong enough to go the speed that they um, have the bike capable of going, then that should be fine. Um, and it's up to the rider to, um, you know, ride uh, with caution and safety and all that. That, you know, but that's true no matter whether you're drive, driving a car or riding a bike or walking on the street you know or on the sidewalk so i don't know maybe some some of you out there have an answer for me for uh the reasoning why bikes are limited cars don't have a limiter on them they can go faster i mean the legal speed limit is whatever but the bike or the car in this case is not limited to 60 miles per hour. Cars can oftentimes go in excess of 100 miles per hour. And I don't know, I just, I just think the bike should be able to go a little faster and there shouldn't be this big blow up over how fast you're going on the bike. If the bike's capable of doing it and you're riding um, safely i mean i like i say i think it's a lot safer to ride on the road with the traffic than to have a great big uh rig driving by you and basically almost blowing you right off the road if you're in the bike lane um but go ahead and leave a comment in the comments below and let me know what you think of this topic why do e-bikes have a class two or class three speed limit? Why can't they go faster? And that's going to do it for another video here on the channel. If you like this video, hit that like button. If you'd like to subscribe to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and thank you very much for doing that. And if you want to be notified as to when the next video comes up on the channel, just hit that notification bell and you'll be notified. And if you want to leave a comment on this or any other video, go ahead and leave that in the comments below. Once again, thank you for joining me for this video. And until next time.